Ciao, and welcome to Henry Wheeler's Movie Reviews, where I take a look at films I've never seen before, but others likely will have done. And today, given it is the finalissima, Italy against Argentina, which, let's face it, is Italians versus Italians, really. Though I'm expecting the Argies to get over the line because uh, Italy have not been great recently, so. I thought I'd tackle an Italian movie and cover a filmmaker who's work that I have neglected so far, Lena Wertmüller, and it was a toss-up between two films and I wondered, ooh, which one should I go for? Given that Seven Beauties is a bit more of an obvious pick, I would go for Love and Anarchy, particularly because the concept of it interested me. So here we are, without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> So, Love and Anarchy follows a man named Tunin who arrives at a brothel and is there to see one of the workers named Salome. She tells everyone that he's her cousin so that he's able to come in because otherwise, you know, a man wouldn't be allowed behind the scenes. Though what's really going on is he's been sent to Rome in order to assassinate Benito Mussolini with Salome being a conspirator in the plans by assisting him. And while there, he spends a lot of time with Salome and another worker named Tripolina who takes a charm to him. And while this is happening, he starts to doubt his ability to undertake this kind of task. So just to get this out of the way, I love this film. I think the acting is truly stellar. Uh, Giancarlo Giannini obviously won the best actor all it can, and it's easy to see why. To me, it was clear that the character was autistic. He's just very awkward and shy and wants to be left alone and is really socially inept. But there is this dread in his performance. You can tell that he does know the fate which befalls him if he goes through with it, and which is this quandary that he finds himself in. It's clear that he's never killed anyone before, and this is all new to him, but you know, he's a devout anarchist, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I also liked how they appeared to have put freckles on his face, because I don't know if this was a creative decision or if he just had freckles on his face while filming. I mean, it must be the former because Otherwise, they'd probably cover it up. But I just love the relationship between Tripolina, uh, played by Lena Polito, who's, she's just precious. Fuck's sake. The way this is shot too, there's some really wonderful pieces of cinematography here. Plus the male gaze is very much absent, as Lena Wertmüller really has a good eye for shooting humanity and characters. Leave it to a woman to shoot sex workers as actual people. And she also loves to study the face. There's some really nice close-ups in this film. And well, I mean, the whole thing just looks really exquisite. And the script is super sharp too. I love how bitchy the workers in the brothel are towards each other. It's just so catty. And Salome is just so much fun to watch. You know, some of her lines are really, really funny. My cousin's here from the countryside. He looks just like Alice in Wonderland. And Mariangela Malato portrays her wonderfully. Just the two of them have been in three Wertmüller films together, including uh, Swept Away, which was famously remade by Guy Ritchie and Madonna. So I really want to check those other films out. She also looks kind of like St. Vincent, you know, Annie Clark. And it dawned on me that Giancarlo Giannini also looks like Tom Scar, the YouTuber guy. Where'd he go? Giacinto is one of the most irritating characters though, at least in a film that I've really enjoyed. He's just a boorish misogynist who's brilliantly written. <laughs> I've met plenty of people like him, though not with the same political views, uh, obviously. But these kind of people are everywhere and the way that he's portrayed is absolutely spot on. Full marks, obnoxious as anything. Also, you know, in the previous video, I talked about Nino Roto and uh, The Godfather, but they also did the score for this film, and it is excellent. Uh, there's just some lovely guitar plucking sounds going on, which is just adds a lovely atmosphere to each scene. You know, I like the call and response style. <laughs> Also, is just a, a legend of cinema, probably one of my all-time film composers that there is. I mean, you know, from La Strada to The Godfather, he's just a master. This film really is extraordinary, from you know, the cinematography to the script, uh, the acting, direction, score, production design, 
I think it really has a potential to be a favourite of mine and also the ending is fantastic but I won't tell you about it now because you can see for yourself. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. I really need to see more films from Lena Vertmuller since I did enjoy The Basilisks which I have seen and I'm looking forward to checking out Seven Beauties which I probably will uh, watch at some point. So that's everything from me. Leave a comment uh, what you thought of the film or indeed the review. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also follow me on Letterboxd. Forza Argentina. They're probably going to lose now, aren't they?